The Shy Season 7 is on the way. I believe they're already filming right now. But what I think will be crazy is this. What if we saw more OG characters make a return? We saw, you know, a few characters made a return in the Season 6 finale. But what if your boy Reg made a return? Even if it was as a ghost. Now, this is just predictions. Nothing has been confirmed. This is just predictions. So down below, I want you guys to give me your early predictions for Season 7. We're going to talk about them in this video. I want you guys to stay tuned. We back. Season, Season 7. seven. Let's go. You know what time it is. Brrr, yeah. About to get back to work, baby. Thank you to the Shaw family. Guess where I'm at? Hey, I'm in my trailer. Guess what I'm doing? I can't tell you. <laughs> What's up YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark and I'm back with another video if you're new, if you love the shy, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now today we're going to be talking about the shy season 7. This is the early predictions for season 7 so down below I want you guys to give me your early predictions for this next upcoming season. It's already been renewed so we good um, and I cannot wait to see it especially after what we just saw in the season six finale, right? It's about to be crazy. So you guys, so make sure you check out that episode 16 recap that I dropped um, not that long ago. It was a great episode. Now, let's go ahead and jump right into it. These early predictions. Your boy, Nuck if your buck, he has taken the crown. He was not about to sit back and allow Duda to attempt to take out his son. Oh, hell nah. He said, you know what? I got to take him out. As I told you guys in that recap, Nuck, he was all about actions. You know what I'm saying? He was not about all the talking. And that's exactly what we saw in the last episode. It seemed like Alicia wanted to have conversations. Look, we ain't got time for that. Your boy Nuck, he took it up to the next level. And now we're going to see the aftermath in season seven. We know he has his crew with him. Of course, Bakari and of course, Zay. And with these guys, they're going to continue to try to run Chicago and dominate but it will be issues because we know alicia she will seek revenge right i mean nuck told her is whether we work together or we're going to be enemies and she told him look i'm going to be your worst nightmare so nuck did not take that lightly he said you know what since your son running his mouth i'm going to drop him straight off now alicia she may say you know what i know you got a son that could be a weakness well that is a weakness the question is is she really that ruthless as i told you guys before rob he's already stated that alicia makes duda look like a saint well us fans we're still waiting to see exactly what that is because we haven't seen it you know what i'm saying we seen nuck turn up we seen duda turn up we have yet to see alicia really turn it up so i'm expecting her to do that in this next upcoming season I mean, she do got Rashad on her side. You know what I'm saying? Her boy toy. We gonna see if they really about that life in this next upcoming season. And if Alicia is willing to take out Nuck's family, and I'm talking about his son. I mean, an eye for an eye, right? Will she be willing to do something like that? That will show us just how ruthless she is. I don't want nothing happening to baby Ronnie at all. But after what happened to Rob, I already know Alicia's gonna believe that Nuck most likely has something to do with this. And not just Alicia. I'm pretty sure that's your girl Tiffany. She gonna be pissed off as well. She knows Duda is out the picture. But at the same time, they had issues with Nuck. So I would not be surprised if she thinking that Nuck was the one that did this. Especially if she knew that Rob was going to meet up with him, right? So expect your girl Tiffany to be on one. This could cause issues with Keisha as well, right? Because we know Nuck is the father of baby Ronnie. Keisha is like, you know, liking that relationship that he's having with his son, but Tiffany, she may not like that no more. She may say, you know what? Leave him alone. He killed Rob. And it's sad because we know Rob and Tiffany really did have a great connection. And just when things seemed like they was getting real good, of course, Rob got dropped off. Not just him, but his pops as well. Now, to be honest, a female could be Nuck's weakness. I know he did mention to Tiffany that he would never put his hands on a female, right? So we're going to see what time it is. Don't be surprised if Tiffany makes a move 
this next upcoming season, it could be a move that Nuck does not see coming at all, right? And I want to know what's going to happen with that whole, you know, shroom business thing that she got going on with Hannibal. We saw a little bit of that at the end of season six. So I want to know if Tiffany will continue to do that, especially after what happened to Rob. Now, when it comes to Emmett and Keisha, my early predictions is this. I think it is a chance that they may have that baby, but at the same time, it's going to be a lot of stress, y'all. And just when they thought everything was good, well, that's not the case. I already know Keisha going to be going through it, especially after what they witnessed in the last episode with Nut coming over there, hugging his son. They know something's up. They already know he took out Duda, but they don't know he took out Rob. So expect some type of backlash. And I will not be surprised if Keisha does have a miscarriage because of all the stuff that they're going through, right? Now, we're going to find out if that's going to happen. Now, your boy Papa, he's about to get himself involved into a whole lot of mess. We already saw a little bit of that in season six. But in season seven, with Charles' character being around, your boy Rotimi, he's about to cause issues this next upcoming season. And I'm pretty sure it's going to cause issues with Pastor Zeke as well. Your boy Papa is going to realize that he made a major mistake and he could mess around, get hurt, could mess around and get involved in some illegal activity. And I'm pretty sure that his pops, Pastor Stanley Jackson, will be very upset. I mean, he tried to warn his son about this pastor, but he continued to go ahead and kick it with Pastor Zeke. His moms, of course, she warned him as well. We know that Victor and Fatima, they're supposed to talk to Papa. But to be honest, it seems like that's a little bit too late. And now Papa has to deal with those consequences of messing around with Pastor Zeke in the first place. But I believe this Charles character is about to raise hell. And he's making threats to Pastor Zeke about Sarah. I think more information about what went down in the past will come out. And whatever Pastor Zeke has done, most likely it will be exposed. And I cannot wait to see how that's all going to end up playing out. Now, my early predictions for Damien, that whole Keith storyline... I believe, as I told you guys in my recap, that Damien, he may mess around and screw things up with his brother Emmett. I hope I am wrong. I hope he does the right thing. But I can see him, you know, taking some money off the top to pay this Keith character. I also believe that Keith could get dropped off. Your boy Damien, he could catch a body in this next upcoming season. And hell, the way that Keith has been moving, it's looking like that he'll catch a body as well. So, some type of twist is going to happen within that whole storyline. I definitely cannot wait to see it. But I just don't want to see things, you know, in on a bad note with Emmett and his brother. Especially after what they've been through in season six. It finally seemed like they were cool, but that can change real quick. Now, my early predictions for your boy Bakari. I'm going to tell you right now. If Kuki was here, he probably slapped the taste out of Bakari's mouth. Like, what are you doing? I mean, he was popping up in your dreams telling you what you should be doing. We know Professor Gardner was helping you out. You was trying to basically have a different type of lifestyle, but no, the streets, they called and you answered. You know what I'm saying? I understand that Nut came to you and you felt like you needed to do what you had to do to protect him or whatever, because he said we family and all that. I did see one of you guys state that what was Bakari supposed to do? If he would have said no, Nut probably would have tried to take him out, which, you know, it could be true. Based off the way that Nuck was moving in the last episode, I would not even knock that theory. At the same time, regardless, Bakari, he's going to have to deal with those consequences because he helped move a body. Now, he's a part of it. You know what I'm saying? So, he can expect to, you know, deal with Alicia and her wrath in this next upcoming season. And I just hope he can find a way out. But from the looks of it, it seems like the streets, they keep calling his name. And your boy Bakari, he keeps answering, making all the wrong decisions. Now, my early predictions for your boy Zay Tobin on the beat. This man right here, psh, he gonna be on one once again. I know he got that promotion from Duda, but that promotion is over with. You know what I'm saying? You working right with your boy, knuck if your buck. He running the show. And I believe that Zay, he's just gonna sit back and take orders. I also believe some negative consequences is gonna come Kenya's way she likes bad boys she was kicking it with him y'all saw her grab that gun how she was touching it that girl's a freak 
Well, we're going to see what time it is when she's caught up with some illegal activity and then she's in all types of trouble. It ain't going to be no more smiling. It ain't going to be no more, oh, I'm happy to be with you and all that. You's about to screw your life up, plain and simple. Now, my early predictions for your boy Jake, I believe he will continue to do what he's been doing with the whole business thing. Um, I do think he's going to have a major storyline in this next upcoming season. I know the whole thing with Gemma is, you know, that's crazy. Y'all shouldn't even be together, play it as simple. Um, and the thing with the first lady, it seems like that's, you know, basically kind of blown over. The pastor, he's not really caring like that, for real. He knew about it, so that's no big deal. But also, we know that Zay, he gave Jake some money, right? He gave Jake some money. He invested in him, so expect him to try to get his payment in Season 7, which could cause all types of different issues, especially since Nuck is running the show. Now, we already know that Nina, she's going to be gone in this next upcoming season. We know she's going to hit the road with LaPortia. I do think it's a chance that we may see her every now and then, but we won't see her character like that anymore, um, just based off how the story is going. My early predictions for your boy Victor is this. I believe he's going to stay out the way, stay out all the drama, but with all the stuff that just popped off in season six, at the end, he may be dragged right back into it especially if his brother jake is in trouble with zay or nuck your boy victor probably ain't gonna be able to catch a break and that street life will be calling his name the question is will he answer to it like he's always done or will he finally say you know what i cannot do it i'm good now when it comes to rashad he will continue to do work for alicia um at the end of the day we're going to see what time it is as far as what Rashad is willing to do because we know Alicia, she wants revenge for what happened to her son, Rob. Now, this season, we're going to see the aftermath of your boy Duda being taken out. The show will have a completely different feel because we're so used to seeing your boy Otis Perry running the show. Now, since Nuck is running the show, we're going to see exactly what time it is. I will not be surprised if we are introduced to new enemies, um, also new characters coming in, new storylines. Um, Detective Toussaint, she popped up in the season finale, right? So will she pop up once again in season seven? I told you guys I would not be surprised if more OG characters make a return. The question is, what OG characters may make that return? You know what I'm saying? Because we've seen Coogie, the ghost of Coogie. We've seen your boy Q, he returned. Um, also, I know a lot of fans was asking about Sonny because we know Sonny was Q's brother, which means... Sonny is Alicia's brother as well, right? So I want to know if they're going to dive into that. And also, I know a lot of people was asking about Detective Cruz because we saw Detective Tucson. What about Detective Cruz? I mean, both of those characters had solid storylines in season two. So I would be eager to see what would happen if both of them made a return um, to the show. Now, what about the ghosts of Reg? You know what I'm saying? We know we saw the ghosts of Kugi. All up in Bakari's head. What if it's a chance that we see the ghost of Reg? I know it was all types of fan predictions and theories about his character. If he really died and all that stuff, right? We already know Lena Waif and your boy Barton. They made jokes back in the day about y'all didn't see a funeral. So how y'all know he really did? I mean, of course, nothing never happened. But then again, you just never know. You know what I'm saying? Anything can happen. Um, your boy Barton, of course... He made like a little quick video on his IG stories. And of course, he's at the location of where they film The Shy. I mean, at this location, they film other shows as well. So it could be other shows that he's working on or whatever. But we're going to find out soon enough. I do think if Reg does return, whether it's a ghost or he, of course, was always alive in the first place. I think it will make this story even more crazier. And based off what they gave us before, as far as bringing old characters back, I would not be surprised if they said, you know what, let's just, you know, touch up on this one. Let's see what the fans think about this character. Now, I want you guys to leave your theories, predictions, leave it all down below. Y'all let me know exactly how y'all think season seven is going to play out. We're going to do early predictions as well, go into more details on some of these characters and their storylines very soon. So I want y'all to be on the lookout for those videos but i want to thank you guys once again for all the love all the support and i'll catch y'all on the next one but let me get up on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace